And we are back at it again. Good morning. Uh, I'm feeling a bit rough, needless to say, given the extraordinary hike I undertook yesterday. And I was really actually looking forward to coming here and that's why I kind of pushed through because I wanted a really good night's sleep. Now, this is the new city. It is indeed the old city that I walked through last night that was destroyed in an earthquake. And personally, I don't really like the design of these buildings. You know, they're too modern. Second, they do not offer any more comfort than uh, the tea houses. So don't let them fool you. It was colder last night. I wore, I even had to wear my jacket. I have a jacket you guys haven't seen yet. A windproof one. It was colder in my room yes yesterday, last night. So it was difficult to sleep. And also all that adrenaline after me pushing so hard that whole day. Uh, it made it hard to sleep. I didn't sleep before 10 o'clock, then I woke up again freezing at one. I was able to sleep again a little later on. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful though. I didn't see any of this last night. So I'm looking forward to, to uh, getting to my final destination today, which uh, I actually don't even know the name of. I'm so bad with the name of places. All of these places supposedly have Wi-Fi though. There was no Wi-Fi at the place I was at yesterday, but there was a girl there who gave me a hotspot. So I was able to post like an Instagram story and so on. But anyway, I'm enjoying this little road here in between the, these stone fences. And uh, since I didn't eat anything, oh yeah, that's another thing. I wasn't, they were very slow waking up. I was. After sleeping for a second time, I woke up at like 5.45, something like that. There was nobody awake there. It wasn't before 6.45 that anyone did wake up. And the first thing they do was to, to make tea and food for some workers that they have there. I think they're building something outside. Instead of asking me if I wanted tea or anything, so I figured, F it, I'm just gonna get on my way and go to a, a cafe that I've heard great things about. Uh, about an hour and a half away. So, uh, see you guys there. If I can find my way out of this maze, let's just follow the, I guess you say this is a paved road. Man, I have a bit of a headache. I don't think it's the altitude. I've been higher up than this before. I've been to 5,000 meters in uh, Bolivia. But uh, when you just, you don't eat, I'm running at a massive calorie deficit, obviously, because I haven't been eating that much. So, I think that's where the headache comes from. I need to solve that with some food at my first pit stop for the day. So, see you guys there. That is the end point up there. I think, and I hope. I wonder what these are. Oh, hold on, there's some inscriptions here. I don't know, could this be, could this be a gravestone of some sort? Let me know in the comments section if any of you know what this is. Whatever they are, they look pretty cool. And here they end. Oh no, downhill. That sucks because downhill here. Oh man, means uphill over there. By the way, that is not where I'm going. It's only probably like 20 minutes to walk to the end. And the full hike today is probably three hours, I think. But the cafe I'm aiming for is an hour and a half away, so we'll save some battery. See you guys then. After three days of brutal trekking through the mountains here, I think I have arrived at what is the Himalayas only hard rock cafe. Now, I'm also quite happy to see the river again. I haven't seen the river since, mm, I don't know, yesterday, midday yesterday, but 
this should be it. I've seen pictures before, this big rock and these flags, this is uh, where it's at. So let me, I have not eaten today, no breakfast, so I am really dying for some sustenance here. Literally, I feel like death. Now, hold on. Is this it? Yeah, it is, it is. I was like, oh man, is it even further? You can see Hard Rock Cafe. Let's hope it's open. Oh no. It's closed. Woo. That sucks. I actually, one of the reasons, I was just at a tea house down the road, had a cup of tea. One of the reasons I didn't eat there, the guy was really nice and, but there was a, a, another, um, maybe that was even on day one. Someone told me about the Hard Rock Cafe up here and this structure survived the earthquake even apparently because it's built into this big rock. Now that sucks. I guess I'm gonna have to soldier on. Oh man, it's another, the last tea house I was at for the coffee, he told me it's another hour and a half to the final destination of this uh, trek. So I guess I'll go there, set up shop, put my bags in and uh, yeah, eat and let's see what they have to offer there. Oh man. <clears throat> I'm struggling. Whew. Let's get a move on. Hey, I see a bull. This is what they sound like. Oh man, I start filming, he stopped grunting. They're drinking here from this little watering hole. Oh, there we go. Hey, I come in peace. Wow, look at them. It's like they're ready to charge you. They always look like they're about to charge you. They never do though. Well, they haven't up until now. Even that guy up there. Hey, I come in peace. I just want to sit here and observe you drinking. They're friendly, these um, yak bulls. They just give you a mean stare, but that's about it. All right, I'll be on my way. You can keep drinking. <laughs> All right, I didn't get to experience the, the Hard Rock Cafe, but I got to experience uh, the Yak watering hole. Man, they're impressive. Like, I want to pet them, but I mean, with these, with these horns, I don't know. Like I said, I'm three days away from civilization. I mean, life up here is rough as hell. Three days to walk, if you want to. And I can't really call Syria Bresi civilization either, because that was also one hell of a bus journey away from Kathmandu. So, yeah, you really are in the middle of nowhere up here. But let's get a move on. I really wonder what this is. Maybe it's some, it could even be like a military triumph. I don't think it's a grave. It could be like a triumph. A triumph, of course, being something you build after having defeated your enemy in war. Man, I hate that one. I... Yeah. It is so nice to be along the river again, but feeling a little anticlimactic. Climactic? Gotta stop using words. I don't know how to pronounce. 
uh, because the next town I'm getting to is gonna be the last. Now I am gonna hike up to one of the mountain tops as well. I'm not sure the mountain top I'll be able to climb is gonna be as high as one of the ones you see there. But uh, yeah, once I've set up shop for the night and hiked that mountain, it's gonna be backtracking. Now I'm looking forward to you know river swims and meeting up with a lot of the cool people that I met on the way up here, many which you've not seen on camera. I probably filmed, I don't know, a third of my interactions with people. I met a lot of cool people off camera. Check this out. Can you guys see in there? Because I can't. I wonder what this is. Whatever it is, it's awesome. I think we're almost there. I think it's behind. I see a stupa. No houses, but hopefully it's not much further than that. And if there are any other amateur trekkers watching this video, it's not a good idea to not eat before you start walking. I had a granola bar again, and that's also how I started yesterday, and it doesn't work. They're horrible. Hopefully there's a way down there, I can swim. So I don't really have the strength to do this, but there's no end in sight for where I'm gonna set up shop for the day. And that means I need a place to at least put my head underwater here. I wanna see what this ice water feels like. And down here is the most scenic little spot. There's even a beach down there. You see there's half the stones are frozen. And I reckon there is a path down here. It's a treacherous path, but I mean, when has that ever stopped me in the past? So let's go down and chill on uh, Himalayas, greatest beach. Of course, now it starts to, the wind is picking up and it's getting really cold. Oh man. But okay, let's make a run for it. Now I gotta watch my step here because as you can see here, snow and ice dominates these hills. So it's just a matter of finding the best path down without slipping. I reckon that's over there. Yep. Ah. I'm gonna catch my second wind after after going under here. We'll see, I might even go for a swim, but it really is windy. Yeah, 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 it's windy and cold up here. And that's probably a bit too ambitious. Yeah, given the state of how I feel right now. By the way, I'm just loving hiking through these bushes and not having to worry about snakes. Now I have to worry about snow leopards and if there's a cave down here, a bear, hopefully there is no cave down here. I 
Let's see if we can find a path. Of course, these stones too are icy and slippery. No. But the reward for trekking down here is obviously worth it. Ooh. That spot looks pretty nice, but I think the ultimate scenic location here was the beach right there and that rock right there. So let's make a Let's make a dash for it, as to say in, I don't know, some country I guess. I probably picked that up in some movie. Should have had my gloves. Why? Also, I could have left my backpack up there, but the problem is, if I lose my backpack, I lose a lot of good footage. All the videos I've made, because I backed them up on my computer. Oh, look at that! Perfect. The perfect passage. Ooh. Oh, here's the beach. Imagine that. A sandy beach up in Himalayas. At least now that I'm here, I can throw my backpack down. <laughs> oh, by the way, the state of my hands. Look at this. Himalaya's greatest beach. Now, what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, we're gonna say, are we filming? Yes, we are. Wow, look at these stones. Some of the stones are ice stones. Yeah, this I, I thought I already had discovered the coolest part of this river, but I have to say, this is the spot. Now, where am I gonna go for a? I'm gonna put my head under. If I jump in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drift on down, all the way down. So, let's find a spot where I can just stick my head under. Probably right there, or there. That's a good one. That's funny, here I was thinking, walking today, that I wasn't gonna find a cool spot to film. And I was thinking, actually, to not even use any of the footage I have captured so far today. Simply because I thought, not much happening and it's not as scenic as yesterday. Uh-oh. <laughs> if I start sliding here, oh man. If I start sliding here, I'll, I'll slide all the way. Damn. But I think that's the spot where I wanna put my head under.
So here's what we're gonna do. Can I get down there? I, I probably can, without the camera. How does that work? Wish me luck. And if I go in, I go in. And we are back. Now, in all honesty, I probably could have swam. It wasn't that bad at all. The hard part was the ice here. And also that stone is covered in ice. So I can't really get in it. Man, it was very, very hard. So I had to dive in there first. I don't know if you saw that on camera, probably not. But anyway, I probably, you know what? Coming back here tomorrow, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for a swim right there. Now, I think it's time. To sit here. Woo. And let the sun work its magic. And heat up. All right, signing off. From the world's greatest river. Let me save the camera, in case I go in. Woo. Back on the beach. By the way, I saw some cool animal tracks there. There's many, but some of them look fresh. Like these ones. And then there were more back here. Yeah, like these. 
don't know. Be a panther? Who knows? All right, I'm rambling. Signing off. Here we have even more of those, those walls. I'm really excited to hear what they actually are. I mean this, I don't know, could it be a calendar? Could it be a, a watch of some sort? Sundial? I wonder what it says, if it's a Tibetan language? It looks very much like Sanskrit and Nepali, but then again, I don't know, maybe Tibetan also looks like that, I have no idea. Anyway, they look cool. What's not cool though is how much further I have to go. Come on. What are these called? Is that a stupa? Let me see. Kyanjin Gumba. I think that's where I'm going. Huh. Awesome. Okay, 3,755 meters. Well, the funny thing is I see the sign to the city. I just don't see the city. That's since the arrow says there, but then there's a bridge and a path here. Oh wow, that, if there ever was a natural rock pool made for me to swim in, it's gotta be that one. It's even a water slide. I'm gonna have to try this, but not now. I'm guessing it's up there. The sign said up there, the steps up there. This is probably, I don't know, not, hmm. We'll see. I'll walk up there, I see a roof over there. Cool stupa though. Wow, these mountains are so majestic. I've just been sitting here, taking a lot of breaks, walking up today and just, I'm in awe at the majesty of these mountain tops. Ah, finally some nice scenery. I was kind of disappointed with my hike today from Langtang, exception maybe parts of the river, but things are looking up, up here. Please, let this be it. As cool as these stupas are, if that's even a name, what would be even cooler right now is an actual house. A tea house. Come on, 
Oh man. I need to rest and eat so I can appreciate the beauty of the mountain. This is not it, by the way. I see a bridge up there. I think I'm gonna have to climb up, cross the bridge. Then I'm in Kianjin Gompa, I think the name of this place is. Scenic, beautiful. I'm still loving it up here, but it's four hours since I left. It's probably a testament to how slow I've been moving. Jesus Christ, if I'm lost and have to backtrack again, I think I'm just gonna drop dead instead. Just given the state of this path, I just can't see. This is the main path that people trek on. But then again, the further up you go here, the less frequented this trail is. Because the locals use the other trails uh, here, they don't. Unless, you know, it's porters or the, some kind of delivery. Oh man. Bridge. that was it and I saw this I was like damn it but yes that's got to be it hallelujah I thought it was just this but this it actually looks like an impressive place as far as ability to charge my stuff and wash, maybe wash my clothes even. That'd be great. Maybe I'll set up shop here for a couple of days. There's a hotel super view. I'm gonna check that out. Man, what a place to have a... It's not a city. I guess it's not even a town either. Settlement. Newfound respect for people that live up here. Brutal. Uh, think about that. Three days to get here. For a lot of people, maybe even four. I mean, I went all out yesterday. Oh, that's sad to see garbage and so on. 
Yeah, so it might even be four days to go up here, unless you go all out with one super long day like I did. Wow. Not good. But I guess, just as they, it costs a ton of money bringing stuff up here, so It also costs money to bring stuff down. And I guess a lot of people opt for not bringing it down. Because there's no money in that.